we have never quite documented Kenya's foreign policy appropriately. We have had bits and pieces, attempts, and then it remains with the executive. It is our desire and our commitment that as we celebrate 60 years of independence from 1964, this is going to be the 60th year, we want to be able to present to parliament a policy and indeed have a sessional paper on Kenya's foreign policy. We will want to engage you because we want to break away from having a foreign policy that belongs to the executive and to have a foreign policy that belongs to the Republic of Kenya. So we shall be seeking your support, your input, your advice, your criticism until we arrive at what we can collectively say this is Kenya's foreign policy position on the following issues. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya's prosperity hinges on a collective effort where the pursuit of knowledge and academic excellence is intertwined with a commitment to national service. We must encourage our students to use their skills and knowledge to address the challenges facing our society, to innovate solutions that benefit Kenyans, and to lead initiatives that drive sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude my remarks by extending my warm congratulations to Chancellor Van Koyen and the entire University of Nairobi community on the unveiling of, unveiling of the Big Five initiatives. The transformative impact of these in initiatives should inspire other universities to strive for academic excellence and make a greater contribution to share prosperity for all Kenyans. Together, let us forge a legacy of innovation and unwavering dedication to the national interest. Let us ensure that the University of Nairobi not only shines as a beacon of knowledge and excellence, but also stands as a testament to our collective resolve to uplift our nation. May the spirit of unity and progress guide us towards a brighter, more prosperous future for Kenya and beyond. 